let's talk about record reviews. So when we start a new evaluation, inevitably they come with a lot of records that we have to review and then summarize in our report to show history and show that we've done our due diligence to really review the records. So I wanna show you how to use AI to really help make this a super efficient process. So step one, is going to be to read the records. We cannot skip this step. So you do have to read the records. Make sure that whatever the AI is producing to help you summarize the records is holding up to your clinical eye on those records. And this is how we prevent AI from making hallucinations or assumptions that don't fit our client. So we are gonna still read the records, but then we got to summarize them. So this is where AI becomes a really, really helpful tool. Um, because we are working with student data, I'm going to use Bastion, which is a HIPAA compliant platform. Um, and Bastion has some really cool uh, features that are going to help. So there's a few ways. Way number one, that I can use Bastion to really help summarize my records is I'm going to set the temperature gauge to precise because I don't really want it to be creative or make anything up. And then I'm going to put in my prompt, which is going to be to summarize the record. So um, I might say uh, something like this is the child's prior neuropsychological evaluation please create a summary of the report including the child's strengths challenges and diagnostic conclusions okay and then Bastion now has this awesome upload attachment. And so I can actually attach a PDF of a report. And of course I'm using a, a, a sample de-identified report here. Uh, and I've just attached a PDF of the report that I wanna summarize with my prompt. And then I'm going to ask it to do the summary. here we go now it uh did it for me in um kind of long form in uh uh bullet points which i didn't expect so i'm gonna say i'm gonna talk back to it which is a really important skill when we're working with ai so do it again um but create a summary that is in paragraph form using parent-friendly language and summarizes the report in two paragraphs because I don't need all of this. Here we go. Now I have two paragraphs that have summarized the report for me. So if you want to do it in bullet points, you can ask it to do it in bullet points. I want to do it in paragraphs. I have two paragraphs. I could even ask it to say, do it again, but make it more concise. If this is a little long for me, there we go more concise and now because i've read the records i can just review this make sure it really represents my student make any edits uh, that i need and then uh, just copy and paste it into my report and i have my summary and this way i can do this for multiple documents you may also be the kind of person so strategy number two um, is uh, using your notes. So if you go through the records and you're making notes, you might want to use the same kind of prompt, but to um, with your notes. So it might be, um, let's see, so we might say something like the following notes are from a recent IEP for the child I am assessing. Create a paragraph from these notes using parent friendly language. Okay, here are the notes. And then I'm gonna give you some notes from 
something that I recently summarized. Paste them right here. And now I have a single paragraph that describes um, what the results were from the IEP. Now, uh, strategy number three is sometimes while you're reading this document, you may just want to talk through it. And we have a couple different tools for this. Um, one is Notes app, uh, but this in Bastion, they now have a transcription. It's a little slower than Notes app, but it works for these kind of short things here. So I can go ahead and record live audio and I can say, all right, so um, uh, this child uh, was evaluated by his school district and they found that he has average cognitive abilities, um, but that he's really struggling in um, phonological processing and working memory. And then I can stop recording. It has my little recording here. Uh, and I can uh, create a note, create a one paragraph summary of my transcript using parent-friendly language. All right, and then we can submit it. It's gonna go ahead and upload the file. Uh, and then it's going to create my summary for me. I can also ask it to just do a transcript and then um, I can copy that transcript and then feed it back in, oops, feed it back into Bastion to do a summary. Okay, so here's this little example right here. Obviously, you'll have a lot more meat to tell uh, the, the AI, uh, and it can uh, summarize it here. Uh, and so hopefully that is helpful. You can use the same strategies for collateral interviews that we always have to write up, uh, or even your testing observations to use these different tools to get a really impactful, easy to read, parent-friendly summary for all these different parts of our report. Hope this has been helpful for your practice. Let me know in the comments.